Welcome to this edition of Nuts on Tour. This is another vlog done in conjunction with Van Other Collective. Welcome to all the new members and the new members of the collective. So I will leave links below in the description of uh, how to get to all the other people's uh, videos. videos and sites. Somewhere around here There'll I be. will... Oh, yeah, camera's just gone off oh, yeah. on one. Yeah, somewhere around here I will leave the little video of the logos. other people's logos. And uh, the, the theme for this month's vlog, collective vlog, is... How do we plan our trips away? For me, it's very, very easy. Yeah, you're just given the address and told which direction to I head. get in the seat and follow <laughs> what she says. She yeah. Turn left, I turn right, down <coughs> here. Mm. Yeah. I, my bit's easy. Yeah. No. Oh, no, you can't. No. Oh, 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 big dog's oh, coming oh, out. He's going to knock that. <laughs> so, we changed Sue for a dog. <laughs> yeah. She said she was a bit of a bitch. So. So from here, we will make Drax's mouth move. <laughs> Right. So how do we plan our trips away? Well, normally we decide... We have an idea of where we're going to go. If we're going, we're going to a show or an area or uh, an event or yeah. whatever. And then, Lady Nut... Then what I tend to do is, like, say, for instance, we're going to a Warner show. They're normally four to five days. So then I tag on a trip prior either after or prior to that show so we actually then get like a good 10 days away um i will scour the um caravan and motorhome club and the caravan and camping club sites and pitch up and tranquil parks i actually scour the lot to see if there's anything reasonably priced within the vicinity of where we are heading I then go through all the process of contacting these individuals to find out how much they do charge, what their rules and regulations are, etc, etc. If they allow dogs. If they allow dogs. If, they, if allow, they charge extra for an extra car. If they allow a large motorhome. Uh, some, some site, well, some of the ones on the motorhome club, the caravan and motorhome club, I've actually been on and it sort of says, you know, size limit. Eight metres. Seven, seven and a half meters so well, seven and a half meters eight that meters, counts yeah. us out so so i sort of kick them ones into touch so yeah. then um we do have some nice ones though we we had one extra car two pound per night oh, yeah yeah so we uh so, so booked it and paid for it and uh, then they came back to us and said ah we don't charge extra for cars that are attached to motorhomes because they're classed as part of your motorhome for getting out it's not yeah. like it's like a car and a caravan if you've got a car a caravan and an extra car then we charge but no we don't charge for the car that's pulling the caravan and we don't charge for a car that's being pulled by a motorhome so that yeah. was very nice i mean we some, some sites no word of uh, no no fibbing here you sort of go on and you look and you think oh yeah that looks that looks a pretty good location because then what i tend to do once I've found a site and think, oh, yeah, that doesn't look so bad, I will then actually go on to Google Maps and I will start to check the route to that particular site. I will go on, I will find out what the entrance looks like, make sure we can actually get in. I will check the roads up to that entrance because if they're single track... With a bridge that's only two and a half metres, we can't get there. Exactly. So the fact is I have to do all, I do all that as well. Uh, just to check that we can actually physically get onto these places but also when I'm doing that I'm actually looking at how much they charge like for instance you know it's £22 per adult per night and then per adult per no night. some of them wow. per adult per night and then you get it's it's £3.50 per dog per night it's a fiver for your awning and, and it just starts to creep up I mean I saw I, somebody I, put no. on face I, I, say so i saw somebody put on facebook the other day they were looking at a site um i don't know quite where it is but wherever it is and it was 75 pound a night by the time you'd finished adding on all the add-ons and that is only for your pitch 
that doesn't include you know that no electricity no well it did i think it might have included electric but it didn't oh. include you know meals 75 pounds a night you might as well go to a hotel yeah or even or even rent a cottage you know, I, mean, I think it's some of them, I, one that hasn't quite got my head round, they charge per dog per night. What benefits do the dogs get? Oh, they get a dog walk. Right. Okay. Is somebody coming to walk them for us? <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we go out and walk the dogs anyway. So, I yeah, it's yeah. £2.50 per dog per night. So what are they actually getting for their £2.50? There is another site I found, which I, we were going to go to when we had the caravan, but we never got. And that stipulates that your dogs are not allowed to foul on the pitch. Well, unfortunately, like most dogs... I'm not sure how we'd stop you. <laughs> And don't we oh too late you know i mean the some of the rules and regulations are a little bit sometimes you think to yourself well how do you stop them you know put nappies on them it's, oh. it's, it's it gets a bit silly so i always mm. sort of just think all right you've got a silly rule we're not going to bother going yeah. there because that's the only find one that you've told us about but what yeah. other ones have you got find somewhere else you know. but no normally somewhere it's more amenable to our big brown puppy boy find an area locate a few sites check out whether you can get to them entrances etc because i mean some look oh yes they've got a nice big entrance but halfway down their driveway there's a tree that will take you out um and things like that so i try I, to look uh when we go to when we go to botany bay there is the menage at one side and the horses field paddocks at the other, the, other. Yeah. the paddocks at the other uh, if you look back through our video you'll see on the video i've done previously as driving down there there is less than a foot either side of the coach when we go down there however if you line up there is plenty of space that the lady's got a big horse box that she takes the horses out in and if she can get the horse box down there you i'm very there. sure i could get this down there yeah. so just line it up beforehand and sort of yeah okay if you have to back forwards a little bit to line it up so be it but I didn't just come around the corner, line it up, yeah, straight down between the two, no problem. But as long as you view it beforehand, yeah, I always no do. Worries. I always actually used to do that even when we had the caravan yeah. to make sure we got enough room to swing in with the caravan. But it's the same with this. If you've got Monty on the back, you need enough area to swing round. I mean, some of them they look lovely. The sights look lovely. They have lovely views. But then you look at the entrance and think well there's no chance of getting in there and i always read the reviews if there are any and they you know if they say oh you know entrance is difficult then i don't bother going any further because what's the point if if they're struggling if you to can't get, the get if they, yeah <laughs> if they can't get in with the caravan that bends in the middle getting in with a seven and you know a, an eight meter plus bus yeah not gonna happen not gonna happen uh, when we've got the car on the end we are like nearly 13 meters but it does bend at the back end but still if they if they can't get in with a car and caravan very that's little it. chance of us getting in that's it so then i contact the sites book them pay deposits or pay in full depending what how long we've got before we go and then i start to look around to see what we can do in the area you know national trust or anything like that any geocaching geocaching we haven't done that in a long time i haven't, haven't do done any geocaching we've been busy with other things yeah, but yeah but yes we'll be doing that and and that's that's how we book our trips we haven't yet <coughs> managed a pub stop uh we, we have <laughs> pub stop when we went down to the shore we stayed in the pub overnight Oh yeah, sorry, that one. Yeah, yeah the, we have done one. Yeah, we have done one. Done but a lay-by stop. We were yeah, we done a lay-by, but we were supposed to stop at a pub when we went to Wales, but uh, due to circumstances beyond our control, we never got to the pub, so we ended up staying in a. Mummy wasn't well. <laughs> in a uh, pull up, pull up, pull up now. Motorway service station for the night, which they were very good. It was. It was very good. Yeah, but yeah. Um, like I say. We, we haven't sort of done the pub stops at weekends either yet, have we? No, that's something, again, Riz, all the time we're doing new things and changing things that's and it. going to different places. We're I mean, doing, we're doing some more shows. How many trips have we got planned so far for this year now? There's one, four, two, five. three, four, five. Five 
what I call week plus trips. Yeah, that's without the little weekend just without nip away. Without jaunts, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, yes, like I say, and we, we do plan well in advance. And I have to, I have to work round um, hospital appointments and things like that. So and I, dental appointments, we sort of mm. we get all those in, and then we so I and work around them and plan where I'm going to be. Because I thought for for one of our trips, I was we were going to have to come back early for my. Uh, medical infusion but it turns out they've moved it into another month now so we don't have to come <laughs> rushing back <laughs> good <laughs> on good. that occasion i mean on this one we get back on the 17th and i'm in hospital on the 18th so yeah, yeah. It's the same thing one or the other yes. uh for those of you who haven't seen yet we are going to be at the newbury show at the newbury showground it's newbury showground for the van life and camp overland show sure. so i will put up said yeah. picture we have a discount code i will put on the bottom if you quote the discount code i believe 10 percent off 10 percent vl vlc i think it I, is. i'll put the discount code up all, over Land the bottom life, as well whatever something vlc yes. i'm sure it is 10 percent but also um Warners, we're visiting Warners. Yes, the, the next show is the Warners show. show. That's the next one, and we That's will the, be which, oh, which one is armed it? with these for anybody who wants a sticker. Come and find us. Come and see us. Come and see us. We will give you a sticker. When we when we get on site, normally we go on site on Thursday. I believe we're on site on that. Which, which is which is the next one? Newark. Newark. Yes. The new. So on Thursday one. night, I will try and put out a. Uh, oh, yeah, but we don't get well unless we can. We'll sneak we'll put out a, an Instagram or a Facebook and put the what three words on for where we actually are. So if you put your what three put the what three words into your phone. But you'll you see us if, you, if you're visiting the show. You'll see us around. You'll see us. We normally have our jackets on with nuts on tour on, and we have our nuts on tour flag up with our illuminated flag pearl. Yes, so. they go the whole hog. Yes. <laughs> As we do, as we, do. as is our, as is as our, our thing, way. as yes. is our way. It's in this dog. Hey? But, uh, but that's basically how we plan our trips. It's a bit of a, well, as I, I think would Mark would say that I do tend to perhaps go overboard planning the trips, as in looking for everything and checking everything. But uh, you know, at least I know in my head that we can get in. Everything is checked to the nth degree. <laughs> yeah. Everything is listed to the nth degree. Yes, and yes. Uh, I like I say. Well, normally, if we're going to shows, we have before we go, uh, the toilet will be empty, the the grey tank will be empty. Everything's. The water will be full, full. to the brim. And the. Uh, the food cupboards will be full to the brim. Yes, everything I'm, is... I'm still trying to learn... Both battery packs will be full to the, the brim. brim. Yeah, I'm still trying to learn that basically I don't... For the first few days, don't take a lot of food. Just top up while you're there. Yes. But like we say, when we go to Newbury, that don't work because we're not going anywhere but the showground. So we yes. will be taking everything with us. Yes. Take everything with us for the meals that we want. Of course, we will have Mike Treat... Might treat Lady Nuts to a meal out, you never know. You well, yeah, might, might get a tray of chips to share or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. Smell of a pizza. I didn't notice them put a pizza thing. Might, might yeah, there's a still... pizza one there. Okay. There's a pizza one. They, normally they have the Thai green curry and then the oh, hang little on, pizza that's, one. That's the, the Warner shows. Yeah. yeah. Newbury, think... they've got different ones. Oh. But hey-ho. There'll we be something there. I bet, there. I bet you they're there. I bet you they're there. There's something there. If anybody knows if they're going, leave them in the comments. No, the banana leaf aren't. But, leave uh, them in the comments. Yes, but like I say, that's how we plan, or how I plan our trips. I just drive. You know, I then give Mark the address so he can put it into the sat-nav and off we go. Please take the time to watch the others in the collective. Have a look at them. Please pass comment. Give them the thumbs up if you think they're as good. Please yeah. subscribe to comment, them as well. They, everybody in the effective loves comments. We, we all, all respond comments. to them. Yes, one of the things that we all do. We all read all the comments. We are, you know, all of us. I think, I think just about all of us in the collective have got less than ten thousand 
subscribers. Oh gosh, yeah. So we we all read every comment and reply to every comment. There's three three new There's couples th now joined three, the collective. Three new vans. There's caravan escapade. Welcome. Um, is it caravanning with the missus? I think. Yeah. Welcome. And um, Andy and Scott van life. I think. Yes. Welcome to the boys. So yes. So. Uh, Three new ones to watch. There is. Apologies for the snoring dog. <laughs> He's got to sleep. Oh, he's right next to the mic, isn't he? He's next to the mic, so if that's picking it up, I apologise. <laughs> Sleeping. He's in his favourite position, having cuddles with Dad, yeah. and he's he's gone to sleep now. He's got a bit of a poorly leg at the moment, but yeah, uh, he's, he's on medication. He's on anti-inflammatories and got a bit of a limp. It so looks not, like, as the vet was saying, what is it, arthritis? Yes, yeah, a, a, a he's only young, really, but he's six, seven this year. Yeah. But he's uh, limpy dog. He's a limpy dog. So when he gets comfy, that's yeah. Going to have a little snooze now, Dad. She's mesmerised with something out the window. She's, I'm not going to move forward. She can probably hear the hear the pigeons and she's probably thinking, how can I get you? <laughs> she's sat in the driving seat, yeah. completely in the driving seat, glaring out the window. That's it. And you're snoozy. And on that note... We will say bye. Bye and see you in the next one. Bye for now.